Welcome to 3 Minutes Fix. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to manually use a Google Drive index. Eight months ago, I posted a video on the same topic, but the problem is that the script which provided us with crucial data for Cloudflare is no longer working. So, we have an older method where we manually feed this data into the JS file from Cloudflare. Let's get started. The GitHub link I posted earlier includes a file named worker.js. You need to download this file and keep it in a safe place. This file requires four pieces of data. The client ID, client secret, refresh token, and drive folder ID. To obtain these details, you'll need to sign up for Google Cloud Services. But I've provided a link in the description. Once you're in the Google Cloud Console, search for Google Drive. After locating the Google Drive API, enable it. Then, press the Manage button. Upon entering, you'll see different menus. For our task, focus on the credentials and OAuth consent screen menus. Let's begin with the OAuth consent screen. Here, create an app. I've already created one for testing purposes, so I'll show you how to edit it as follows. Once you're done with that, move on to the credentials section. Choose the application type as web application which is important. The JavaScript origins field is optional. Next, specify the redirect URL which I've provided in the description. Be sure to paste it without a slash at the end. After that, press create and don't forget to make the app a production app. Now, go to the Auth Playground site. On the left menu, choose the Drive API and check the first URL. On the right side, click the settings icon above and select use your own credentials. This will provide you with two text boxes. Copy and paste the credentials we previously obtained from the Google Cloud Console here. Then press the close button. Next, on the left side, press the Authorize APIs button. This will take you to the login page. If you encounter an error, Ensure that you did not add a slash at the end of the auth URL previously. Once you're successfully logged in, you'll receive an authorization code. Press the blue button labeled Exchange Authorization Code for Tokens and you will receive a refresh token. Copy this token and paste it into your worker.js file, along with the other required details. This crucial part of the process is now complete. Finally, you need to choose the folder that this worker will need to access. Create a folder if you don't already have one and obtain its ID from the URL. Once done, copy the entire worker file to your clipboard. Now, go to Cloudflare. As I mentioned before, I didn't show this part in detail, create a worker and name it. Once done, press the edit button and paste your worker code. If this is not your first time signing up for Cloudflare, your UL should start showing a live page. If it does, congratulations. You've successfully implemented Cloudflare with Google Drive. That's all guys. Thanks to the subscriber who mentioned this issue. Thank you all for watching.